Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Canva for beginners on your phone. Very easy, very simple guys. So first thing, you have a lot of options over here for different type of content creation. So if you pick for example the social media, here you will find a lot of templates. You will find popular themes and content creation templates for Instagram, for Facebook, for LinkedIn. And this is just a variety. If you scroll down through different templates, you will see that everything is aligned with the theme of the actual social media. So in this example over here, you see that if we click on LinkedIn, you will be able to create LinkedIn posts, LinkedIn profile pictures, very professional, LinkedIn single image ads, because we all know LinkedIn, now it's a very popular hub for running ads. If you go back on Facebook, here you can create a lot of information about Facebook posts, Facebook ads, Facebook covers, videos, especially if you're creating reels and they even added these functions over here for running Facebook ads and Facebook shop ads, right? So essentially you can find a bunch of information. If we scroll to the next section on, on the top menu for videos in particular, you will see that there is a lot of information. This is where you can uh, essentially add these moving images as a background. You can create a mobile version of the templates. You can create this famous uh you know videos which are simply repeatable uh video which in our case we can see over here it's like you somebody is walking or the camera is moving by the by the shore by the beach and you can put some of these quotes you can put some of these like wisdom thoughts that more become kind of popular uh, around christmas and you can utilize all of these pre-made templates instagram reels tiktok videos as you can see over here, you can simply create uh, multiple different uh, TikTok theme videos, which uh, a lot of you probably already seen, and this is not a sur surprise. Over here, you also can create a, a Pinterest video pins, which you can use for affiliate marketing, considering that you're part of any affiliate marketing program. If you go back on top, you will see that you can create actual presentations, some presentations that are much better than the usual powerpoints simply because they are fully customizable but they are much much higher quality remember a lot of creators of of the content graphic designers are coming over here and they're setting their templates they're setting their uh, you know designs for the websites designs for business cards for profile pictures thum thumbnails right so all these things are crafted by people they're not designed from AI. So this is what makes this app very, very popular and useful. Next section over here is the printing materials. This is where you can design and create invitations for wedding, for events. This is where you can create uh, envelope invitations. You can print on top of the actual envelopes your designs. You can create flyers, postcards, stickers, and a lot of these printing materials that usually print on demand services are utilizing a lot of the people if not all of them are using here pre-made templates for posters and calendars very very small amount of people are still using uh, you know the sophisticated software such as the photoshop or, or you know some of the other paid simply because over here a lot of the things are free right they are paid uh, templates but majority of them are simply for free the next section over here is documents well this is a, a new section you can essentially create a lot of documents from here uh, you can create uh, planners you can create uh, resumes uh, you can design a brief invitation agenda right a thank you letter a welcome letter the next section over here also is new it is a whiteboards this is where you can create this you know explanatory uh, videos in 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 a in a sense of a couple of images or a couple of structures either bar charts or a couple of tables that are connected which explains you know a very complicated process in a very simple manner uh, very interesting it's kind of it's kind of a project management tool uh, for people that are trying to brain uh, storm and trying to come up with with much better ways to uh, create process or product next step is the websites this is where we can essentially scroll on the site and you can uh, filter by different type of websites educational 
note it, when you can design your own website, you can utilize the templates, majority of which are not free, which makes a lot of sense because uh, people put a lot of work into this. They are customizable uh, in their in direct competition with big companies such as Wix and, and, and others. So you need to understand that this is something that you should consider as well. Going back to the original home feed, if you look at over here on the lower side of the settings, we have a projects which I have a separate video. I showed you guys how to create a free logo using your device. We created this logo about the accounting form. This is where you're going to find all the projects that you previously worked on. If you click the plus sign at the lower center of the screen, you are going to create a brand new file, a brand new design, and you can select all of this. This is a suggestions from Canva because this is what uh, mostly people are using their app for. So it's very easy. They also give you the, the dimensions, right, the, the quality and, and the ratio. This is very important. If we simply go back, you also have templates on the lower right side of the screen, where essentially these templates will be again recommendations for each of the categories. You see documentation, mobile videos, logos, phone wallpapers. You can create a lot of these guys. And the new version also over here, you can create your own, uh, you know, courses, uh, own programs, as you can see, ready to teach lessons. You can simply scroll through the sections. It looks like a slideshow uh, program, right? It's not nothing fancy or crazy, but uh, it's good. It's good that there is uh, more competition. We all know a lot of these companies who are either hosting your courses or, you know, uh, helping you create your craft your own course, they charge a lot and it is not one time payment. A lot of them are actually charging you a lot of more money per month simply to have their course on their own platform. So I think it would be nice if if uh, Canva in the future actually offer hosting for your courses as well. But essentially, guys, this is everything that you should know. If you're looking for something that was not over here on the initial menu, you can simply come over here on the top and you can search for whatever you want to search for. And if it appears, if it's offered as a service from Canva, it will appear and you can simply design it. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more.